Hey guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to go through the greenhouse gizmo. This is going to show us how the greenhouse effect works in a simulation. It's hard to understand how it works or what it does without actually visually seeing it. And I know during class it's hard to work gizmo, so I'm not asking you to do the gizmo. I want you to watch me do the gizmo kind of like we would do in class if we were together, where we would do it together and then I would talk you through everything and show you what was going on. So that's what we're going to do today. So I want you to first see, on the right hand side I set it for bar chart so we can see what's happening. You'll see right here I have temperature in Fahrenheit, 0 to 120. On this side I have a graph. It's a little graph with in and out. It's the heat flow coming into Earth and out of Earth. The out is going to stay relatively constant. It's going to stay about the same. And the heat flow in is going to fluctuate. But for, I'm, I'm not going to spoil too much, but the heat flow is what's coming in here and that's going to fluctuate. So how much heat we're actually getting. You'll recall from the season's le uh, lessons in the beginning of the year, you'll recall that, be that based on where we're at with the Earth and the angle to the sun, we get more sunlight or less sunlight, and that impacts the amount of heat we get, which impacts the amount of temperature we have. But the greenhouse effect is still clearly visible. So for the starters, I'm going to slow it down and we're going to take it all the way to zero. So this would be 0%, meaning the atmosphere had no greenhouse gases. There was no carbon, di no carbon dioxide, no methane, nothing. No water vapor, nothing. There's no greenhouse gases. We're going to go to about day eight in the simulation, and that's where I want us to pay attention to, is day eight. So first day, You'll notice the heat flow comes into about 60 and our temperature goes to about 65, no, about 70. It's about 70 at the peak at noon. At the peak at noon, we get the most heat and our temperature goes to about probably 70. Now notice. As the days go on, we're getting the same heat flow, but the temperature is decreasing. In the beginning, we were hitting about 65 or 70. My apologies. Now it's day eight, and at the peak, we're hitting about 60. Do you see that? At the peak, at the most heat flow, we're hitting about 60. So day eight, day nine, at the peak, at noon, where our heat flow is the highest, we're only hitting 60 degrees Fahrenheit. That's important, 60 degrees. So I'm only paying attention to the peak of the day. So at the, when the heat flow is greatest, and that's when I'm looking at the temperature. Because there's a lot of variables we have to look at, so I'm eliminating these variables for us. We're looking at day eight, and we're looking at the peak. We're looking at about noon when the heat flow is greatest. And at zero, when the heat flow is at greatest at day eight or nine, we hit about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I'm gonna reset and we're gonna go to about 20. Let's go to 20. Now, look, I'm just gonna show you something. When at zero, there's no I, I want to call it fog. It doesn't look like fog. There's no real fog here. At 20, you start to see fog. As we put it higher, the fog increases. That's the amount of greenhouse gases present. So at 20%, we're starting to get a, a little bit of greenhouse gases present. Now, Again, we're going to pay attention to day eight. We're going to look at the heat flow when it's at its highest, and that's when we're going to look at the temperature. And we're going to 
look specifically at day eight at noon when the peak is at its highest. So you'll notice day one, we're hitting about 70. Day two at the peak, we're hitting about 70. Day three at the peak, we're hitting about 73. Ooh, my bad. Day four at the peak, we're hitting about 74. Day five at the peak, keep in mind this heat flow is the same, we hit about 77. Day, seven, day six, we're still about the same, but we're hitting about 77. Day seven, the heat flow is about the same, we're at 78. Now, let's look at day eight. About the same heat flow, but look at the temperature. We hit 80. So I want you to keep in mind the heat flow, the amount of sunlight that we are getting is not changing. The heat flow, the energy we're getting from the sun is the same as it was at 0% because we're looking at that specific time of the day. And the heat flow is the same, but our temperature is increasing. At day eight, we hit 80 degrees. There's more gases present, and as the days go on, the temperature starts to increase on Earth. And as the days continue to go on, I would bet that the temperature would get higher. But we're only looking at day eight to eliminate those variables. So at day eight, we get to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you were keeping notes at home or keeping track, it was only 60 degrees when there was 0%. So 20% more greenhouse gases resulted in 20 degrees more Fahrenheit on day 8. So now I want you at home to make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen if we increase our greenhouse gases percent to 40 so we're going to reset, we're going to look at day 8 at the peak again, but we're going to look at 40. Did you get your guess? Good. Notice how there's more gas now present. So day 1, again, we're already about 70, 71. Now I want you to really see the heat flow is not changing. The heat flow is not increasing with more greenhouse gases. The heat flow is not the reason the temperature is increasing. Now look, already day four, we're at what day eight was at, four, at 20%. So 40%, we're already above that, and it's not even day eight yet. So now we're getting close. We're about 90 at day six at, at the peak. Day seven, we're about 92. Now look at day 8. We are pretty much around, I would have to say, 97. If you want to say 100, that's fine. If you want to say 98, that's fine. The exact number isn't important. Hopefully by this point you are seeing the greater the greenhouse gas percentage, the higher the temperature. Again, same day, same peak, greater temperature. That's what I want us to pay attention to. So why is our temperature increasing with the more percentage of the greenhouse gases? That's because of the greenhouse effect. The more greenhouse gases on the Earth, the more trapping of the sun's energies it's able to do. The Earth's ozone layer reflects sunlight. It absorbs some of it and reflects the rest of it. And normally, the rest of that light will go back to the sun and back into space. But because there's more greenhouse gases, there, then as soon as the Earth reflects the, the sun's energy, the greenhouse gases trap them and reflect them right back to Earth. So the Earth is getting even more of the sun's energy that it shouldn't have gotten. So because we're getting more sunlight, we're getting a greater temperature. So more greenhouse gases 
the more the greenhouse effect works, the greater the temperature becomes. Let's test that hypothesis. I'm going to go all the way to 80%. Let me reset. We'll go all the way to 80%. Again, we're going to look at day 8 at noon when it's at its peak. Notice, we're only at day 3 and we're already at 91. Day 4, same heat flow, we're at 100 at the peak, at the greatest temperature, at the greatest amount of sunlight. 95, day 6, at the peak, we're at 1, 18, 19. Now let's look at day 7. About 125, 130 probably. Now day 8, we're going to pay attention. We are nearly at 130. So at day 8, at 80%, the temperature is at 130. So clearly, there is a relationship between the greenhouse gases and our temperature. Again, I want you to understand, the heat flow did not change. But the temperature is changing. And it's a clear relationship. The more greenhouse gas is present, the greater the temperature at our peak. Let's look at the graph. Look, the temperature is increasing. It's going off the graph. As the days increase, the temperature is increasing. That's important to know. So, Today is your easy day. I simply want you to answer one, the one question I have for you. That's your assignment, to watch this video and tell me the one answer, the one question. We're going to start an activity in the coming days that's going to have us really focus on this because it's actually becoming a problem now. We're actually going to learn about an actual phenomenon, an actual topic that's going on in the world. And it all stems from human impact and the greenhouse effect. Humans are furthering the greenhouse effect, as you can clearly see. The more greenhouse gases, the greater the temperature. Okay, guys. I hope this video shed some light on what the greenhouse effect is and what it does to our temperature here on Earth. I hope you have a wonderful day.